Up next, the Heat taking on the 76ers. For Miami, this team is playing winning basketball, victorious in seven of their last ten games. Sixers, Heat, tip-off just moments away. Hello and welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports this Tuesday evening. Alongside Grant Hill and Steve Smith, Allie LaForce, our reporter, I'm Brian Anderson. And let's check Miami's starting lineup. On the wing, it'll be Robinson and Butler. Then it's Bam out of bio. Then it's Terry Rozier. And it's Highsmith in at the four. And for the 76ers, Harris and Embiid are in the middle. Kyle Lowry out there with Maxi. And it's Oubre in at the small forward position. Well, we got an old-fashioned matchup on our hands tonight, Grant. Two teams who deploy impactful big men. Yeah, B.A., and in a league where perimeter play so often is the deciding factor, tonight I expect this to be a slugfest inside. Miami and foul. so he draws the foul, Dunk headed to the line to shoot a pair. It That's seems you could bring in anybody foul. to this team and pair First them with Embiid, foul. and they'd still win, Grant. Oh, At they the got a solid roster. Sixers. But there's no denying that Harry's Embiid is the heartbeat Matthews. of this team. The 76ers break, go how Embiid goes, kind of like Two our shots. broadcast with you. And in the last five seasons, they've gone to the playoffs. He's off on the first. One thing about the Heat, Smitty, they always seem to turn castaways into contributors. You're right, B.A. So many undrafted players who've broken through in Miami. Credit the front office and coaching staff fighting and developing those diamonds in the rough. He hits the second from the line. Well, Grant, the pace that the Heat like to play is a little slower compared to other teams. Yeah, B.A., more methodical, definitely. They don't just jack up shots and run quick plays. They're very patient, and they look for the best scoring option. Rozier outside. Knocks it down Carry from distance. I like that pass from Duncan Robinson, keeping his eyes up and his options open. Harris outside. Shot clock at six. Basket's good. I mean, what do you expect when you give him the clear look? That's just too easy. And early on, if you're him, you just want to see the ball go through the net and get into some kind of rhythm. Now here's Rozier. Here's the three. The shot misses. And so it's Harris with it. He brings it up for the 76ers. They want to keep rolling here, following the win against Brooklyn. And I think they were prepared to face pressure D, but that never materialized, so they took advantage. They came in focused and ready to play, and despite facing little resistance, they never pulled back. Here's Butler. The Sixers getting their last shot to go, and there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. Well, the league has put an emphasis to crack down on illegal screens. Yes, the last few years, the rules changes have tended to benefit the offenses. This evens things out a bit. Now here's Lowry, taking a look at his production, averaging just over eight points a game. Nails it from three. The veteran point guard Kyle Lowry is terrific at setting the table for uncovered teammates. Up top, Robinson. Maxi covering. Robinson passes to Adebayo. Robinson on the wing. Shoots over Maxi. Robinson gets the bucket. Terrific play. This is why you run your offense through him and live with the results. Oubre on the wing. Back to Lowry. Let's it go from deep. Another three for Philadelphia. And I love their energy so far. They're now four for four from the field. Here's Butler. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against Toronto. He gets it in there. This guy is a gamer. Bam, sinking the jumper with a hand in his face. Pass to Oubre. Oh, trying his luck from deep. Hits the three-pointer. Five straight buckets to start the game. Off to a hot start. Just under three and a half minutes elapsed here in the first quarter. Rose here gets the bucket. 
I mean, beautiful execution of the game plan offensively. So far, they are hitting 80% from the field. Now here's Lowry. Here's Harris. And again, it's Philadelphia. Wow, on fire. They haven't missed a shot so far. Robinson on the wing. Goes up from the top of the key, and he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. Robinson's got his second bucket on the night. You don't see Duncan Robinson running the pick and roll a lot, but you have to honor him because he can shoot it. Embiid passes to Lowry. Inside. And there's Embiid. That one's good. And the assist by Oubre. An <laughs> outstanding first quarter from the field. Oubre against Butler. To the paint. And the shot counts. He's fouled. And it's a chance for a three-point play. Personal foul. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the 76ers. They came out firing from deep. It's always good for a team's confidence when you can start a game that hot. Another thing they're doing well early on is moving the ball, playing selfless basketball, and getting everybody involved on the offensive end. This is the first of two consecutive games between these teams. These mini-series are becoming a fixture in the NBA regular season. You're right, but it also it adds a real sense of excitement. You know, no team wants to drop two straight games to the same opponent. So the tension's a little higher than usual. And here are the Heat now, following the score by Philadelphia. Adebayo passes to Robinson. Here's Highsmith. Three-pointer Rozier. That shot off the mark. Lowry with it. Guarded by Adebayo. Now Lowry. Outside Oubre. Let's go with a three. Pure from three-point range. Oubre's got six. Rock solid screen right there. The defender got completely lost. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Count that one. Good touch from Robinson inside. The D can't let him get this deep. Pass to Harris. Back to Maxi. Shoots over Robinson. Again, Philadelphia. In terms of offense, they've been the more efficient team by far. They've had better patience, better shot selection so far, but we still have a long way to go. Now here's Butler. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. Down low, out of Io. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. And talking about Bam Adebayo, he's a guy that loves mixing it up on defense, Smitty. Yes, B.A., and that is what turned himself into a defensive player of the year candidate. Bam's high activity is really contagious on this end. And he drops a first. Man, you know Bam Adebayo knows his role. Doesn't play outside of himself. And he's a quality teammate, too. The Heat making a switch here. Heroes checked in. And both free throws good for Adebayo. Because he knows he makes a living at the line, he invites contact and sometimes even initiates it. And here is Maxi. Give him eight points now. And he gets the bucket. Oubre's got eight. And this early scoring is as much about the lackluster defense as it is about either team's offense. Time called here. Miami decides to talk it over.
He checked in for Harris. Amongst the bigs, power forwards and centers, these are the top foul shooters. Second is Joel Embiid. Third is Tobias Harris. And I love how these bigs take the touch they have in the paint straight to the free throw line. It may earn them a little extra space because you don't want to get physical with these guys. They can make you pay at the line. And Maxie's got the ball here for the Philadelphia 76ers. Eight-point game. Oubre can't hit. Meeting right at the rim. He typically converts in those situations. Not this time. Now here's Rozier. Six points for him. The three. It goes. He's made three shots in six attempts. An improved shooter from downtown. Rozier has been consistent in adding this to his game over the years. Pass to Oubre. Over Robinson. Jaquez grabs the board. Those are precisely the looks this team is trying to create. You know, if you get the ball to the right guy in the right spot, more often than not, you're coming away with points. Now here's Robinson. Making a mark on the offensive end. Scoring around 13 a game. Pulled the shot a little left. The bounce goes his way, though. And now just a three-point Philadelphia lead. Taking things into his own hands this quarter. Trying to keep his team afloat. Maxi passes to Oubre. He drops it from range. Oubre's got 11 points. Miami has gone three of six shooting from beyond the arc. Rozier from outside. And again, Miami with a triple. Trying to slice into this deficit every time up the floor. Terrific quarter for him. Maxi passes to Oubre. Batum outside from behind the arc. Drops in the three. Wow. Some strong perimeter shooting here in the first quarter. Hero, the pass to Rozier. Puts up a three. And Hero with the three. Hero. This is how Tyler Hero likes to roll. You got me, I'll get you back. Embiid passes to Lowry. Shoots over Rozier. And again, it's Philadelphia. <laughs> boy, oh boy. Both teams lighting it up to start this game. And you wonder how long they can keep it going. At some point, you expect the defense will adjust. And the call will be against Tyler Hero. That's his first foul of the game. And just a great job of getting there first and absorbing the contact. Martin, he's checked in for Robinson. Reed passes to Payne. Tries again. He got a piece of it. Miami trailing. Hero with it. A 17-point game for him in the win against Toronto. And that one's good. A focused individual. Hero's not going to let a little contact affect his shot. Two minutes. Payne against Rozier. Left side Payne. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. Impressive. I mean, challenging at the rim against length. You have to love the aggressiveness. And let's forget the height disadvantage. He brings the effort, and he brings the energy. The Heat making a switch here. Wright's checked in. One shot. One shot. One forty six left in the first. Pass to Jovic. Now here's Martin, guarded by Heald. Healed against Martin. Good work there as it goes. What determination from Martin. Just powering his way through the D. Here's Reed. Healed for three. Buries it from three. And the 76ers lead by seven. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Back to Hero. Pass to Jaquez. Six to shoot. 
And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. That's his first personal foul. Third team foul. Shooting for Miami, Paquez at the line for two. First one at the line is good. Both shots good from the strike. Money from the strike. He does a great job night in and night out. Pass to Reed. Back to Payne. Oh, nice finish from the low block. That one's good. Payne's got five points. Beautiful call that time up the floor. The hard screen frees him up for the bunny. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock and the game clock. And the ball out of play. The Sixers will have it. Twenty seconds left in the opening quarter. Outside heel. The three is up. And the 76ers, another three. Their ability to space the floor has been the story of this game. If you love analytics, this is what this is all about. They favor the three ball. You can pile up points in a hurry. And so it's Kelly Oubre making things happen for the 76ers. 11 points in the quarter. He's on fire. Back to the game after this break. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. And looking at what we've seen from the Sixers, what do you guys think? Well, it seems like they went in looking to do damage from long range, and they faced little resistance. Reason why excellent spacing. They may not stay this hot all game, but hard to bet against them. Miami has gotten five of their nine attempts from deep to go. On the court for Miami here in the second. The duo inside, Butler and Adebayo. Tyler Hero is out there with DeLon Wright. And it's Martin in at the three, the small forward. Attacking the defense with the pass. Don't need to be a hero. Payne, the pass to Embiid. Payne against Wright. Back to Embiid. Six on the shot clock. Over on a bio. Embiid can't hit. And so it's Butler who brings up the ball for Miami. Trailing by eight. As tough as they come. Jimmy Butler. What does he bring to this team, Smitty? B.A. Hart and the way he competes out there. It is infectious. Jimmy challenges his teammates to raise their level of effort. And coaches... They love Jimmy Butler. The 76ers making a switch here. Maxi's checked in. And Miami with a change here, too. Highsmith, he's checked in for Martin. A moment to hear from Allie LaForce. Hey, Brian. Philly fans, they're known for their passion. And Tyrese Maxi said, I love them because they're real. They're honest and they're tough. They know the game. They know what they're talking about. And they know what players are getting out of it. They care about winning. And that's what I care about. Brian? Uh, such a great sports city, too. Allie, thank you. That one falls. Wright's got his second basket of the night. The 76ers shooting a legendary 79%. Their offense is just on a tear. Pass to Melton. Up top, Embiid. And Grant, these days, more and more teams emphasize the importance of switch defense. It's so true in the modern NBA, B.A. Every team has to be able to switch to take away a lot of the action of the offensive team. So having defenders who can guard multiple players on the court is a must. Two shots. The free throw drops for Embiid. Molding himself into one of the most dominant centers in the league, Embiid has really come into his own. Lowry, he's checked in for Philadelphia. Robinson, he's checked in for Miami. Terry Rozier comes in for Hero.
And good on the second, so he makes them both. Miami has gotten five of their nine attempts from deep to go. Right side, Butler. To the left wing, right outside. Shot clock at six. From the high post. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Pass to Lowry. Back to Harris. Now here's Lowry. And here's Embiid. Butler with a steal. And here we go. The Heat fast break. Here's Wright. Oh, his shooting remains on point. Three for four thus far. Shut out in the first quarter. He's heating up now. I like the aggressiveness. Harris outside. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. An all-around handful to deal with. Tobias with a strong move for the potential plus one. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. Find the lanes. At the line the lane. Sixers. One shot. Tobias Harris. The free throw drops for Harris. Slowly but surely, Harris continues to elevate his game. The shooting, the playmaking, the ability to make a difference. Here's Butler. Butler! He's too much close to the rim. Not just swinging the ball around the perimeter. Aggressive move inside. Lowry, the pass to Heald. The kick out to Maxi. And the 76ers, another three. More than just a score. Heald moves the ball well, especially when his guys are open. Pass to Butler. Three-pointer. Oh, Jimmy Butler cashing in from distance. And both teams running long-range plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each other from range. Oh, the lob and the great finish by Embiid. A master of the pick and roll. Kyle Lowry firmly in control of this offense. Baxi against Wright. Outside Butler. And a miss there on the triple. And so it's Maxi who brings up the ball for the 76ers. Count it. Lowry's got seven points in the game. Crafty play from Kyle Lowry in the paint. Getting by the defense into his shot. Time called here. Miami decides to talk it over. Looks like it's T-shirt time, fans. Who wants the shirt? Have a look at the leaderboard now and see the toughest defensive teams in the league these past 10 games. The Heat in second. They have absolutely locked down the opposition during the last 10 games. If they keep up the good work, it will force other teams to change their game plan. Here's Rozier. And Embiid with the block. You have to be aware of Embiid at all times. He's an outstanding shot blocker. He's done everything he can tonight trying to keep this team competitive. Here's Heald. Ooh, he's looking comfortable now. Three for three. You're not going to get stops against him unless you give an effort. Right against Maxi. Right with the bucket. Wright's got eight points here in the quarter. For Philadelphia, they've got six of their seven shots to go in the second quarter. Lowry, the pass to Heald. Here's Embiid. Oh, wow! Embiid! So strong! Yeah, getting aggressive in the paint. Look at Joel putting his 
size to work. Rogier from outside knocks down the Harry triple. Rogier the third. Rogier's got 19 Three. points. Even with all the threes he nailed in the first quarter, the defense still hasn't made the proper adjustments. And it's healed that time on the assist from Maxi. Maxi's got his fourth assist with that last one. It's right on the wing. Maxi covering. Highsmith passes to Butler. Now Robinson. Over heel. Again, the Duncan Heat score. Robinson. Developing into a reliable shooter right before our eyes. Robinson can put it in a basket from anywhere. Here's Harris. Right through the D for the layup. Harris has got 11 points. Man, that's now 10 straight points in the paint. I'm not sure what's happened to their defense, man. Here's Robinson. Hits it from about six feet out. Robinson. Robinson's gone five for five shooting here tonight. Lowry surveys the D. Heel for three. And that comes off the assist by Lowry. Lowry's got four assists in the game. There it is. His first make from beyond the arc in the second quarter. His third of the game. Pass to Robinson. Here's Wright. Maxi covering. Maxi against Wright. And he was camped in the lane there. He gets a three-second call. And a look at the stats for Joel Embiid. Sixers ball. Lowry against Rozier. Oh, they get a hand on it. And here we go. The Heat fast break. Ooh, good finish at the rack off the slick feed. Rozier's got 21 points in the game. It could be a prolific night for Rozier. He's going on the attack and getting rewarded for it. For three, Maxi. The shot, no good. And right with the defensive effort. Here's Butler. Ooh, good work on the interior from Butler. Oh, very clever how he creates space against the bigger defender. And that's tough to do from the mid-range because help can come from anywhere, but he beats everyone to the punch. Now a timeout called by Philadelphia. Who wants a free T-shirt? Our Sixers ENT looking for the loudest fans to let us hear you. here. Reed's checked in for Embiid. Batum comes in for Harris. Oubre, he's checked in for Heald. And Payne is subbed in for Maxi. Lowry outside. Pass to Batum. Back to Lowry. With the floater. And the shot goes in. Lowry's got four points now in the quarter. When you are Lowry's size, you need to have a strong floater. And that was a beauty he just put up. Rogier finds Hero. Butler on the wing. Unloads from 13. No, sir. He's now three for five in this one. Very surprising. He gets the ball where he wants it in a decent matchup. And here's Payne outside. And that's out of bounds. Philadelphia will retain possession. As we approach the playoffs, let's see how the East is looking. Taking a look at the 76ers, they're hoping to make some moves from the number five spot before the start of the playoffs. And of course, Miami, they're in the eighth spot. Well, right now for the 76ers, they have to be feeling very confident as the postseason gets closer. It's 
been a nice regular season for them. Maybe they haven't achieved every one of their goals, but they've come close. Oubre against Butler. Clock at six. Pass to Jovic. Takes a three. And again, three Miami with a triple. Three Give points. him an inch, and he'll take a three. So dangerous from distance. Oh, it's stolen by Butler. Fast break, Miami. At six foot seven, Jimmy Butler is no slouch down there on the block. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. At the line for the Heat, Jimmy Butler. Two shots. First one falls for him. He's really the heartbeat of the team. Jimmy Butler means so much to this locker room. Melton, he's checked in for Lowry. And Miami with a change here, too. Adebayo's checked in. That one misses, so he goes one for two. Philadelphia has gone two of four from the perimeter in the second so far. Here's Oubre. Adebayo grabs the board. Trying to take advantage of soft defense. He might have gotten over eager. Pass to Butler. Two minutes remaining. Goes here outside. Two minutes. Good, and Butler Taylor gets the Rogier assist. The Rogier's got nine points now in the quarter. And they had early success from the perimeter, but I don't understand how they've gotten away from that here in the second. Payne against Rozier. Payne pass to Oubre. Six on the shot clock. Denied by Adebayo. This shot can't get past Bam. His reach is just too much. Hammers the lob through. They've closed the gap over the last few possessions. Can they push through and grab the lead? This is the tricky part. Having enough left in the tank to finish the job. Yeah, that one's good. Oh, he has a lot of tools in the toolkit. That right there was just one of them. Rozier outside. Oubre against Butler. That's good. For the day, he's four for six. They've now had assists on each of their last three buckets. Payne, pass to Melton. And here's Oubre from the arc. Good. That's his fifth bucket in nine attempts. Another triple for him. His fourth of the night after that monster first quarter where he hit three of them. Nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. And he lobs it up. And the lob disrupted. Not to be. Here's Melton. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. Nicholas Batum making the resourceful play, gifting the ball to a ready shooter instead of forcing something. At the line for your Sixers, DeAnthony Melton. One shot. And they've capitalized well from the free throw line. Their percentage is impressive. Got a piece of it. And so the ball out of bounds. Hero touched it last. Eleven seconds left to play in the first half. Pass to Melton. Launches a three. Sends it home from three-point land. Melton's got eight here in this quarter. Doesn't get exactly the screen he wants, but turns out he doesn't need it. And so it's the Philadelphia 76ers up 14 as we wrap up the quarter. Up big because of their three-point shooting. Just going to town from downtown tonight. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Joel, some fireworks early. What's going to be critical to keeping it rolling? Uh, just keep moving the ball. Uh, you know, get stops. And uh, I think the kids just moving the ball, playing together. We've been doing that. And uh, we got some hot guys, and we got to keep feeling them. Ball movement is key, guys. Appreciate it, Allie. And we'll be coming right back after this break, ready for the third quarter.
the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, everybody. Boy, what a crowd joining us here for our halftime report. I'm Ernie Johnson alongside Kenny the Jet Smith and the Diesel Shaquille O'Neal. Philadelphia finds themselves ahead after two quarters. They lead by 14. Kenny, how'd you feel about it? They're getting everything they could ask for at the perimeter. Finding open shots, making the defense look foolish, honestly. You don't like to say that, but that's what they're doing. But that defense has to adapt. The threes will just keep coming down if they don't. And over to Shaq, what'd you think about Miami? They've been struggling to get shots in general, but down low, they've been paper soft. Hate to say it. Giving up way too many easy ones. They can't protect the rim more effectively in the second half. It's going to be a long way. And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. See you again after the final. Horn. Oh, fuck. After a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly in the second. You know, one of the stories here, Terry Rozier. Man, is he getting it done today? I like how they control the tempo and play to his strengths. And many of those quality shots have been jumpers. A very high percentage of those in the first half. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. Harrison and Bede are in the middle. DeAnthony Melton out there with Maxi, And it's Oubre in at the three spot. That's the group on the floor for Philadelphia. Team foul. Here's Highsmith, and there's a three-second violation. Well, we've seen outstanding defense this season, and here are the teams leading the way in steals. The 76ers, number one. And credit their relentless nature defensively for causing the mistakes. They apply a ton of pressure. Pass to Embiid. Melton outside. Good. Melton's got 10 points in the game. And he's looking to get on a roll here to start the second half. That was a good play call, attacking with the right guy in the right situation. Hook loose. Six to shoot. Here's Rozier. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. 10 of 14 from the field. This guy is a fighter. Rozier, just a workhorse who enjoys scoring on the aggressive coverage. Embiid passes to Oubre. And even from where we're sitting, you could clearly tell it was a foul. That's his fourth personal foul. First team foul. At the line for Philadelphia, Kelly Oubre Jr. Two shots. That free throw, no good. And the 76ers making a change here. Lowry's checked in. Jovic, he's checked in for Miami. And he sinks the second. And for the Heat, they're shooting a legendary 79%. Their offense is just on a tear. All right, let's get a report from Ali. Joel Embiid talked about setting the tone. He said it's not easy being a leader. I'm not an off-the-court guy. I'm more reserved. But on the court, I show up. That's the way I like to lead, dominating on the court. Offensively, defensively, and try to bring everybody along with me. Brian? He does it well, for sure. Ali, thanks for that. Maxi, that's good. Maxi's got 15. And just executing at a high level. I mean, taking what the defense allows and putting in the work. The reason why they've stayed aggressive and they have not let up this entire night. And at this point, I wouldn't expect them to. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted, 
pretty obvious call by the officials. So difficult to stay planted, especially with all the motion around you. Annoying turnover. Good on the shot. Yeah. He's got 10. Three straight to begin this half. Couldn't have drawn it up any better. Rozier against Lowry. Rozier can't get it to go. And so Lowry will bring it up for Philadelphia. A 17-point lead, their biggest. To the inside. Stolen! Butler against Oubre. Outside Robinson. Again, the Heat misses. The 76ers have gone 3-3 three of three in the second half. Pass to Embiid. Now Maxi. Driving to the basket. And he goes strong with the one-handed jam. And he's such a unique talent at both ends. Embiid with the vision that time. Here's Rozier. And it's blocked by Embiid. And in deciding against lowering the minimum age of the NBA draft, Craig, do you think it's fair to 17- and 18-year-olds who want to go pro? In NBA, I do think it's fair. I mean, there are other avenues in today's basketball environment where compensation for these guys is possible. You have the overseas route. You have the G League Ignite. And, of course, now colleges have the NIL. So, that's huge. They have no answer defensively inside. Time called here. Miami decides to talk it over. Protecting the rim has to be their top objective right now. And it boils down to the question. Toughness. One team showing it, the other allowing itself to be bullied. against Butler. Pass to Jovic. Just five to shoot. Outside Butler. Overheeled. Butler's shot is good. Butler's got 12 points in the game. Okay, Jimmy. He is doing his thing from mid-range. Terrific from there. Here's Heald. Yes, and it's Embiid picking up the assist. Embiid's got his fourth assist with that last one. Butler against Heal. Fires from the line. Right outside. To the paint. High Smith. Laid it in with a nice Edward touch off the window. He's got five. Terrific placement on the bounce pass. Right where it needed to be. Maxi passes to Embiid. Pass to Heal. Out of bounds. It'll be Miami's ball. Miami ball. For Miami, they've gotten four of seven shots to drop in the third. Right against Lowry. Unloads from 13. And again, it's Miami converting. Rock solid screen right there. The defender got completely lost. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Pass to Embiid. From downtown, another three for Philadelphia. Yeah, they haven't missed a shot since the break. It just what a tremendous job making the necessary adjustments at halftime. Here's Jovic. Robinson on the wing. 
And the call is going to be, yes, an illegal screen. Only one turnover in the first half. He's been sloppy with the ball since. And so it's Embiid who brings up the ball for Philadelphia. Pass to heel. Takes it inside. Embiid, good. Embiid's got seven now in this quarter. And now almost all their points coming from the paint. Time called here. Miami decides to talk it over. They're rushing things offensively, and their impatience has led to carelessness. All right, coming out to the court right now, it's your Sixers, Dan Pig. Checking for Miami. And for the past 10 games, here are the small forwards leading the position in field goal percentage. Second is Jimmy Butler. And this group does a great job of staying in attack mode. I mean, you have to be getting a lot of layups to have that kind of shooting percentage. And I don't think there's a player on that list who can't also light it up from the outside. Every one of those guys is a hot streak just waiting to happen. Come on. Yep, count it. Wright's got four points in the quarter. This is basketball 101. This is the size mismatch you look to create. Here's Lowry. Oh, he's locked in. Dreams his fifth shot in his many attempts. That's a grown man's basket right there by Kyle Lowry. He is so good at getting dirty down inside. And play stops. He's a whistle there on what looks like an illegal screen. Well, the league has put an emphasis to crack down on illegal screens. Yes, the last few years, the rules changes have tended to benefit the offenses. This evens things out a bit. Reed's checked in for the Sixers. Batum comes in for Lowry. Knocked away. Right with a steal for the finish. And the finish on the break with the slam. And that was a case of great anticipation skills on defense, sparking the transition game. Most teams now are looking to play with pace. No better way to ignite the break than off a turnover. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Jovic. And so he's picked up his final foul, and he'll sit the rest of this one out. Bam Adebayo's checked in for Jovic. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the 76ers. It's just a passing clinic from them in this game. Solid communication and unselfish play all around. Yeah, all game long, they've been also playing well inside in the paint. Lots of points are coming their way thanks to them attacking the interior. That free throw's good for Maxi. It's both from the stripe. For Miami, they've gone 7 of 10 here in the second half. Hero finds Martin. Got a hand on it, and he gets it back. And it's out of bounds to the Heat as Miami retains possession. Second chance effort. Basket counts. Hero's got seven. Boy, this offense has been dynamic and diversified. Just everyone sharing the ball and sharing the load makes you difficult to defend. Here's Reed. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Reed's got his first points of the night. Like a matador. Ole! There was no defense. 
That has to be one of the easier shots I've seen tonight. And this is what happens when you start to break your opponent's spirit. The resistance is no longer there. Ooh, an aggressive move. Takes it strong, and there's no help defensively. When Caleb Martin's on the floor, you know he's going to inject some energy into the team. And he's talked about that, Grant. He takes pride in being the guy that gives them a lift when they need it. It's terrific to have a guy set that example. Here's Hawkes, guarded by Batum. Philadelphia foul. Paul Melton, he's checked in for Philadelphia. And Miami also making a switch. Rozier, he's checked in for Wright. Substitution on the court. And Miami has possession. Here's Hawkes. Shot clock at six. And they're going to count that bucket. And they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. He really hooked the defender with that pump fake. It worked to perfection. At the line for the Heat, Hawkes. At the line for one. One shot. Got a commanding lead. It just seems like everything is going their way. Down low. Here's Batum. Lays it up and banks it in. Batum's got five points. Nicholas Batum still possesses strength to fight through and get the bucket. And he lobs it up to the rim. And Adebayo slams it in. Wonderful play. With that long wingspan and huge hands, Adebayo catches and finishes with ease. Here's Heald. No luck on that one. Good D by Adebayo. Inside. Martin with the bucket. Six points for him. They're really looking to that inside game here in the second half. Getting away from taking a bunch of threes. Maxi against Rozier. Again, Philadelphia. Continuing to stoke the fire. This shot making has been absolutely superb. Now here's Hero. He's got seven. Takes the three. He buries it from three. Hero's got five points in the quarter. A knockdown three-point shooter. Tyler Hero knows he has the green light to fire. Melton passes to Reed. Nice pass. Nice catch. And a resounding dunk. With the explosive leaping ability, he's able to play center despite being undersized. Here's Rozier. Again, the Here Heat score. In this period, they're feeding him, and he's feeling it. Melton against Rozier. Outside Maxi. Pass to Heel. Four on the clock. From deep three-point range. A miss. Out of eight shots, he's now made six. Here's Adebayo. Uses the glass on the layup. Adebayo's got eight. Nice work in there by Adebayo. He sets a physical tone for this team. Three seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Melton misses. Adebayo passes to Hero. Pass to Rozier. For three. And again, Miami with a triple. <laughs> Just incredible. I mean, he's really making it rain out there, knocking them down one after another. Yeah, the defense has allowed him to get into a rhythm from there, and he's been relentless. And here at the end of the third, it's a double-digit ball game. Sixers ahead. They lead by 11. After a quick break, we're coming right back with the start of the fourth quarter.
And while we have a chance, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. You have to love his unselfishness and ability to make those around him better. So many good point guards in this league. So much responsibility comes with that position. That was a smart, smart play. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. And let's take a look at Miami. The duo inside, Butler and Adebayo. Tyler Hero is out there with Terry Rozier. And it's Robinson in at the small forward position. Embiid finds Melton. And here's Lowry from the arc. Knocks down the long chain. And the 76ers lead by 14. Hero on the wing. Oh, there's the alley. And finished off by Adebayo. Keeping his head up and staying patient. This is what you'd love to see from Rogier as a playmaker. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. So we'll see DeAnthony Melton here go to the line. It's on Tyler Hero. Team foul. At the line for one, DeAnthony Melton. Here are the Heat now. Down by 15. Adebayo passes to Hero. On the wing, Rozier. From down in the low post, it goes. Rozier's got 34. He has gotten into a terrific groove here, trying to wheel his team back into this. And the lead increases on a crazy offensive sequence. Man, the dunk alone would have been incredible, let alone the fact that it came off a pinpoint pass. When you're trying to cut into a lead, you can't afford that kind of mistake. You know what it is, a lack of concentration. That's a momentum killer. Highsmith, he's checked in for Miami. Lowry finds Embiid. Melton against Robinson. Back to Embiid. Again, the Sixer score. Flat out dominant. Joel Embiid having his way tonight. Pass to Highsmith. And we're about two minutes into the fourth now. For three, Robinson. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Embiid's got four rebounds now. It's good. Melton's got seven now in this quarter. <laughs> I just love the ball. And here's Adebayo. Pass to Robinson. Rozier outside. Launches it. That's good from Robinson on the assist by Rozier. Wow, what an accurate shot by Duncan Robinson. The defense has to find him out there. And here's Lowry from the arc. Oh, he remains perfect. Seven for seven, showing no signs of letting up. This play is a big reason why they're ahead. He hasn't missed a shot all night. Tries it from 16, and again it's Miami converting. More and more comfortable facing up and knocking down jumpers. Bam, out of Bio's game, continues to grow. Lowry outside. Offensive rebound, and the shot goes down. Embiid's got 19 points. More points coming from inside. In that respect, they've been the more aggressive team. And there's the lob. Oh, what a nice defensive play to disrupt the lob. Lowry to pass to Harris. And that comes off the assist by Lowry. Lowry's got seven assists in the game. Their interior D continues to look shaky. Not a good matchup for them right now. Yes, it's good. Rozier's got 13 in the second half. Phenomenal at creating scoring opportunities for himself. Rozier with a merciless dribble move. Harris down low. Miami foul. Haynes Haynes checked in for Melton. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. Now into the lineup for your 76ers. Cameron Haynes. Hey, 
screen. The pass to Oubre. And there's the whistle. The illegal screen is the call. And with a big lead, it's easy to take your foot off the gas like they did there. One of the trickier plays to judge, but it would be hard to argue against the call. It's often a tough call that can go either way, but I agree with you on that one. Pass to Adebayo. And here's Butler. He's covered by Oubre. Got it. Jimmy. Explosive athlete. The yes, tenacity yes. of Jimmy Butler. Too much to contend with. Embiid with it. Lowry outside with the 10 footer and the jumper is good. Lowry's got eight here in this quarter. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. Rozier outside. The shot. And Lowry with the defensive effort. It can be tough to find space in the mid range area. Probably should have passed that one up. Embiid finds Lowry. Harris outside. Clock at six. Here's Payne. And all around the rim that time before dropping. And the 76ers lead by 21. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. He's really finding his rhythm here. I mean, smart move to keep feeding him the ball. Let him decide whether to shoot it, whether to pass it. He's your catalyst right now. Oubre against Butler. Gets it. He's 6 for 10 and looking confident out there. <laughs> Once he breaks out the crossover, you just know something special is about to happen. Rozier, the pass to Robinson. And Grant in League News, how about your former coach? Coach K taking on an advisory role at the NBA. Well, B.A., tremendous experience in leadership from that man. Four decades at the college level, the men's national team. I mean, the league recruiting a blue chipper if there ever was one. And right there, you can see Tobias had made up his mind. The ability to handle the ball at his size makes him a tough matchup. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. That almost converts foul. despite the contest. Team foul. At the line for the Heat, Haywood Highsmith taking two shots. Shooting two. First free throw is good. And the 76ers making a change here. Heald's checked in. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And so Lowry will bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. Here's Harris. Here's Embiid. The basket drops. And he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Defensive. You know, they're really being bullied right now defensively. Eight of the last ten points have come from the inside. At the line for your Sixers, Joel Embiid. And even the players have expressed concern about load management. Are changes afoot, or is this the new normal, Grant? Well, B.A., I think protecting players from injury is smart to do. But maybe the ticket sellers need to highlight the back-to-back -back game so fans are well aware that some players might be sitting. And trying to put the game away, he's been nails all evening. And he's doing it by getting to his spots and making big shots. And now the Sixers on the break. The teardrop. And the layup is up and in. Heald's gotten four this quarter. And a little contact never stopped Heald. A committed scorer who knows how to keep his balance on his shot. Rozier outside. Here's Highsmith. Fires in the triple. That defense would have been enough to shut down many guys. But he's elite from out there. 
Lowry good. Lowry's got 12 points here in the second half. <laughs> this run has been fueled by their Matador defense. On the attack, Rozier. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make That's it a three-point play. And some changes here for the 76ers. Reed comes in for Harris. And Payne is subbed in for Lowry. Martin, he's checked in for Miami. Wright comes in for Robinson. One shot. And they've done well from the free throw line this half. No misses yet. Philadelphia has gone two of three from beyond the arc here in the fourth. Pass to Oubre. Smitty, there's been a lot of talk about the parity in the NBA right now. There are a lot of contenders for the title each year. The NBA is great for the league. The more teams competing for championships, the better it is for the fans. Now out of bio. Back to Rozier. Now right, defended by Payne. Down to five on the shot clock. Puts up a deep three. Joel Embiid with the board. Embiid's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Payne, the pass to Embiid. Now Oubre. Shoots from 12. And he trades another one. He's now 10 of 11 from the field. Ooh, just selling the defense on the pump fake. Payne against Wright. Here's Adebayo. Perfect pass to set up the lay-in. Adebayo's got six in the quarter. Rolling off the pick, Bam is very mobile. Finds good spacing and his shot. Outside Payne. Over right, and the 76ers tack on two more. Tremendous individual play. I mean, challenging the heart of that defense. And he lobs it up. Trying to go for a lob there. Excellent defense and anticipation to stop it. And let's face it, this one was never really in question. They came out with purpose and just overwhelmed the opposition. A great win for the 76ers. And it was a big-time performance across the board. They looked like they were having fun out there, Grant. <laughs> yeah, B.A., it was almost like watching a cat play with a mouse. I mean, they did pretty much anything they wanted to do out there today. And tonight, a fantastic effort to deliver their 48th win of the year. And it was a reliably solid performance from one of their key guys. A tremendous game for Joel Embiid. No, there's a few ways to control a game, right? You can do it with pace. You can do it with patience and efficiency. Tonight, he did it by owning the boards. Right, the pass to Adebayo. Just four to shoot. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Nice fake from Bam. Good at fooling defenders and getting the whistle. At the line for the Heat, Bam Adebayo. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. Batum is checked in for the Sixers. Melton comes in for Oubre. And both free throws good for Adebayo. 36 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And here's Payne. Melton on the wing. Robinson defending. And the layup is good off the glass. That's an inspired ball club. They fought hard, and during the most important moments, they made big plays. Especially during this last run, which ultimately put the game away. Right with the bucket. 
Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. So it's the 76ers winning this one easily. Showing that they're the far superior team. They win it going away. I'll tell you what, give it up for their fans. They love to watch this team dominate. You best believe they're all going home happy tonight. And now we have Allie LaForce standing with the player of the game. Allie, take it away. Joel, in the past, you've certainly had your critics, and you have not run from them. What are you looking to prove out there? Uh, just being dominant, so I want every time people hear my name, I want them to know that I'm a dominant player. Well, you do have the ability to dominate every single night. Good luck moving forward. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Grant Hill, Allie LaForce, and Steve Smith, I'm Brian Anderson. Thanks for joining us tonight. So long and good night, everyone.